We are at the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino. However, forgetting the resort and casino designation, Westgate is a convention hotel. It's located right next to the Las Vegas Convention Center and it hosts a lot of its own conventions. For example, there is a coin show here today. And what is this? A weigh-in and the USA Weightlifting American Open Series 3. This is where we're headed. This is a room that is the training hall for people to train before they compete. And it is big. Goodness gracious, I have trouble <laughs> carrying a gallon of milk. And it's noisy. And I just heard a coach say to one of the competitors, two more, okay? Two more. Here we are in the competition area, and it's huge. There's plenty of seating for family and friends of weightlifting. There are five different platforms being used, and there are ten weight classes for men and ten for women. I have a distant relative who is a weightlifter and who is here, and she tells me that this is a Guinness World Record in terms of American weightlifting with 1,653 competitors. The winners here will go to the World Championships and then possibly on to the Olympics, so this is a very important event for weightlifters. Della Cruz currently scheduled to slate to take the 83 for her second attempt. We'll see what she goes up to. <laughs> Miller wants more. Loaders, 116 kilos down. <laughs> we have five athletes calling for this weight. We'll start with Boise Barbells making the seat. <laughs> Dragon is the athlete to be followed by Jonathan Deer. here and folks selling things like belts and some of them are quite attractive 
selling it to someone in your family. Um, what size did you buy? Yeah, I would say you got me an extra small or double extra small. Weightlifters must use a lot of tape. This is ABC Stretch, and there's lots of tape for sale here. And this looks like a booth for Southern California weightlifting, souvenir shirts, hats, more shirts. And here's an empty booth. <laughs> well, it's not exactly empty. Lots of brochures and pens and I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, there's a nutrition guide and a supplement guide. This is True Sport and I think that's one of the sponsors of this meet. Kurt Pole Apparel apparently have, has drawings of pop culture weightlifting. And here are some of the drawings. I'm going to turn around here and see there's a crowd. Aha! Uh -huh. Stickers and shirts and a very active salesman looking for things that the customers want. Grand Denim is here. Um, jeans made for the athletes and the gentleman here explained there's more room in the quads and the butt in these jeans. Brand denim. here. Few equip overcome. And the man says there are more sizes if you need that. And caffeine and kilos. I assume that's coffee. And here is the USA weightlifting booth. It is a large booth. And folks can get the logo on anything. Not cheap. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Sixty dollars, eighty dollars. Lots of folks want gear that says USA weightlifting. Everybody needs lunch and right outside the competition area is a temporary lunch counter and lots of folks are finding it quite convenient. This is Corinne Grotenhaus. She is my husband's brother's wife's daughter. She's been involved in weightlifting her entire life. She probably has attended more national meets than anybody in the history of the sport. She's been inducted into the Masters Hall of Fame twice. She has 10 world championships. And right now she is competition secretary for this event. Corinne hopes eventually that she may be recognized as a referee in the next U.S. World Olympics for weightlifting. I'm about to leave the Westgate and the weightlifting competition. I love seeing all the well-toned young people here. I'm told there are competitors from about 10 to 80 plus. So folks interested in weightlifting can pursue that for their entire life. I say goodbye to the weightlifters and to the Westgate, an interesting afternoon.